Hey guys, it's Ivy Cam, and today we are going to show you how to make at home DIY sports to keep you entertaining. Hi everyone, my name is April, and today I'll be showing you some of the things you'll need to do at home yoga. Now yoga is a great way to stretch and to warm up your body and also to warm up your mind. And these are all great things you'll need for the rest of our video and some of these other fun activities. And the great thing about at home yoga is that you don't need fancy equipment or fancy clothes or even a yoga mat. You just need yourself and some of the things that are already in your household always stand near a wall or grab onto a doorknob to help steady you. You can also use a stack of books as a replacement of a yoga block. Here are some examples of the types of poses you can do. A great floor pose to try is cat-cow. That's when you arch your back in opposite directions as you breathe in and out. A good pose to try in a chair or on your bed might be cobbler's pose where you put your feet together. This is also a great meditation pose. There are plenty of fun things you can do in an at-home yoga practice to keep your body and mind prepped for the day. Now let's see what other fun sports activities you can try at home. Hey, have you ever wondered how to become more flexible like a gymnast? Right at home? All you need is a wall, and carpet. If you haven't done a handstand before, make sure to grab an adult. So the first move is a bridge. You can use your hands to guide yourself down the wall and go further and further down each time. With the handstand, it's important your arms are locked out as you see me. You can practice using different spacing against the wall and going further and further so that the arch in your back increases when your feet touches the wall. See me a second time as I move further backwards and my feet touches the wall from a further spot so I can further arch my back with support. And a little trick. Next come to elbow stands. You want to make sure you're firm on your elbows. You can either have your hands separate or together as you see me in the video. Same thing with the handstands. You want to make sure you go further and further back from the wall so that you can arch your back more with support from the wall. Make sure you have an adult to support you if you need to. Always stretch before. Hey guys, this is Joelle's Corner and we're going to teach you how to make mini foosball. You'll need a mouse box or a tissue box, two pencils, some plastic. You can use a tap from some container or anything. You can also use cardboard, but I use plastic. Some scissors and duct tape. First, we're gonna make two holes on each side. I wanna stick our pencils in those holes. We cut up four little pieces of clear plastic squares. And now we take each of these, I wanna tape them on, we're gonna duct tape them on the pencils. Make sure you have parent supervision with the duct tape and the scissors. We're gonna make sure it's on the front and on the back so it doesn't fall off. Make sure during the process you don't hurt yourself. Okay, now we're gonna duct tape this on. Okay, now we're gonna make sure on the back it's also taped. I have our little people. And now, with the pen, you'll also need a pen. We're gonna draw a little circle in the middle. That's where the ball goes. Circle. Now on the sides, we're gonna cut holes. And there. There, so now we have one little box square. 
Make sure the size of your ball will fit through these. We're gonna make a tape ball in a little bit. You have two boxes. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the tape as a little ball. So we're gonna take some tape and we're going to cut it off and make a little ball with it. And there we have a ball. And now you can play with your friends and family. Thanks guys. And we are going to do bowling, and whoever has the less points has to guess what the other person is doing for this charade. So the cards are right there, and we're gonna bowl. Okay, so the ball's over here, and we have our water bottles right here. You're gonna need three big bottles, two medium bottles, and one small bottle. You're gonna need any household item that can roll. We have this ball. And then you're going to need some paper with some animals on it. So let's go. Let's see how many he gets. Whoa! Now I'm gonna try. Moose one. So I'm gonna have to guess what he's gonna do for these shrimps. So I'm gonna have to pick a card here. Let's go mix them. So I can't see them. Okay, this one. So I'm gonna act this out and we have to try to guess when I'm acting. I'm gonna show you today how to stay fit while safe at home and to bring the energy to you in just a few simple steps. Um, so my name is Talia, and today we're gonna to be making a barbell weight out of a few items that I know that you have in your house. So first you're gonna need two paper towel rolls that are empty, um, so it's a great way to reuse some waste products that you otherwise would throw out. Um, you need a roll of duct tape, that's super important. Um, duct tape works the best, but scotch could work too. Um, and then two cans of that kind of look like this. So the ones that I used on my actual barbell, um, I emptied out the contents so I could save the food inside, um, but I filled them with some beads and then taped the tops back on just to make it a little bit more difficult and keep them very heavy. Um, okay, so this is how you put all of these materials together in a couple of steps. So first, I taped together um, the two paper towel rolls kind of in a circle so they're one long bar. Um, then I took my already empty cans and taped them onto either end. It's really as simple as that. Um, I used a lot of tape, more is better, just to make sure it's super sturdy. Um, and then later, I'm gonna decorate mine using paint and glitter. But you can decorate yours using any art supplies and this is yours to make your own. Um, so now, I'm gonna show you how to use this fabulous piece of gym equipment. Are you ready? Now you can keep track of those biceps and triceps um, by doing your curls and every other exercise you can think of while safe and sound at home. Hope you guys enjoy. Hi everyone, so today we will be going over how to make a fan at home. So here's a photo of me using a fan in my traditional Korean dance. Right now I'm stuck at home, so I can't access that fan, but I can make the fan at home and I'll show all of you and we can make our props to do dances at home together. So you will need a ruler, scissors, a pencil, tape, markers for decorating, and paper. So first, you'll want to tape your paper together. It's okay if you just have one sheet, that's okay too. And then you will want to get something circular and you'll trace out that circle. And then you'll cut it out. It's okay if it's not perfect. Then with a pencil, you can mark the center of the circle. And with your ruler, try to break that circle into 18 equal parts. It's totally okay if you're just guessing. And then you'll cut one slit to the center and then fold accordion style in and out until you have a beautiful fan. And then you can decorate with markers or crayons or whatever you want and make your fan super beautiful. That's the fun of it. And voila, you have a beautiful, beautiful fan. Now try making your own and have fun. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Give us a huge thumbs up and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time.